confused. This is four different tires. You're going to literally have to find a way to do a review on each one somehow. And I don't know how you're going to do that unless you just ride it, switch them, ride it on each of them. And then that way you can sort of keep track. And then that way you can come back and tell me how the front felt and the rear felt. I'll keep track of it all. Yep. Then you'll ride it and tell me again and I'll keep track of that. Yep. And then that, and then I'll we'll come up with an idea of what it averages out or whatever. Yep. Yeah. That's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to. Cause that way you. Cause it's gonna I be want, the only way. I want. Are you okay? <laughs> and then uh. started no we haven't started yet go ahead we have started no we started wolf tick nation what is going on i'll tell you what's going on in the wolf tick household we got the mongoose malice back on the shelf the wolf tick household the wolf tick house it's a thing we're mm. very excited about doing the mongoose okay, malice mongoose malice stage one upgrades today and we got some goodies here behind me that we are going to talk about behind us we're going to talk about you got goodies in your your cooler? I do. Don't worry about my goodies. <laughs> He's got some goodies in his cooler. The Mongoose Mouse is our 3,000 subscriber bike. It's been maybe two weeks since our three weeks that we've had it. And uh, we, we have been waiting. I've been waiting to break into some really cool stuff we have behind us. Because remember, this Mongoose... Well, it's official. It. It's official now. This Mongoose Mouse is going to be our basher bike indeed. You want to start talking about stuff? Well, I I figured you were on a roll. Well, I you're wanna, just listening to me. Yeah, yeah. very well, rare does he not say anything. I was waiting for you. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the first thing that we got. This is a, a FMFX TRR. How much was that one? This was nine dollars. Okay, this is a, uh, that's one I'm fully supportive of. You're supportive of this? Yes. Okay. Next thing we got are some race face with... 720 handlebars. Now these handlebars were twenty five dollars. That's, that's overpriced. That's not overpriced. That's that is overpriced. cheap for some race face handlebars. I could find handlebars for about 19. Yeah, but they're not gonna be race face brand. They're handlebars. Well, you want to talk about them handguards? It's kind of an interesting deal. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting deal. I want you to talk about them a little bit. There was this uh -huh. company that got a hold of us. Yeah. And uh, said, "Hey, we checked your videos out, and we like your style. We like what you guys do, and." We've got a product that you might be interested in. You understood it better than I did. Yeah, from what I understood when they had first contacted us, it's Geo Handguards. I was tripping out. I was trying to explain to you what it was exactly, and I didn't really understand it until we went to their website, looked up some pictures, and were like, hey. I'm like, okay, okay. now I get it. It protects yeah. your hands. Yeah. So, since the Mongoose Malice is going to be a basher bike, we're going to yeah. install these a... handguards on the bike. Yeah, that's a perfect way to find out what they're all about. Yeah. Last, what we got are the McCarty Triple Tree the Fork uh, for the Mongoose Malice. $60 for the forks and shipping was $25. I think that equals $85. <laughs> I was telling him earlier, or I guess earlier was a couple of weeks ago when we ordered them, I was worried about the uh, steerer tube or the head tube on the Mongoose Malice. They are fully adjustable. You can see here and here. They're fully adjustable. So well, that's we can a kinda... lot of adjustments for you. Yeah. All you guys out there have been sending us the links and everything to the different suspension forks. Yeah, that, that might be cool someday. Yeah, someday. But we're going to enjoy it as a fat tire bike. And we might get another one because I enjoyed riding it so much I didn't want to give it back. I know you did. Whenever I do these upgrades, I ain't going to want to give it back either. Believe me. Yeah. We're going really to weigh the forks. Way. We're going to weigh everything. The bike is 44.60 pounds if I'm correct the way it is. We'll do a uh, after weigh and see if we lost any or if we gained well, we, any. Well, we can weigh the fork individual too. Yeah, yeah, we'll weigh the fork individual. Don't write it down. I'm thinking that we're going to uh, probably add some weight to the Mongo smells uh i'm gonna go with there's some they're probably about a six pounder all right the weight is 5.02 well not bad not bad heck they might be lighter than the forks that are on there <laughs> this will be close if anybody's wondering as far as taking these grips off and going man you can use this use that the 
One I used originally was an air compressor, and it worked great. My air compressor is down. It's uh, down? It's down. I might go ahead and change the brakes out in the stage two. Maybe some hydraulic brakes, maybe. I know everybody's looking forward to the upgrades on this bike. Maybe that, maybe the free wheel in the back. Um, maybe a chain guide, something like that. But for right now, I don't know. Nothing's really wrong with the bike. We love it. A little heavy, but it's a fat tire, right? It's heavy. Yeah. All right, so you got the whole uh, top section, all of the levers and everything kind of taped up to that top tube and the brake caliper. Now what I'm going to do, hold the back of that bike, please. What the hell did you do with the stem? I put it back on here so I can hold this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the tire <clears throat> on the fork so when it comes time to set the compression and all that, we'll uh, maybe have something to set it on. But we're going to uh, see if this tire see if the tire fits on the fork and if everything's going to be golden in that department. A couple of things I didn't mention earlier with the fork is it does come with a caliper mount. It does have a caliper mount welded to it for the disc brakes right there if you can see it. But there is some clearance there if you can see. Pretty good amount of clearance. I yeah. thought it was going to be a little less but show that's it, show it from that angle though. right there. Yeah, yeah like that. But uh, the uh, steerer tube is, is going to be a lot shorter on the uh, malice so we'll probably have some squeeze in there all right so i'm gonna loosen off this top crown and then uh, we'll stick it on the bike i guess oh buddy oh that's yeah that's gonna how look killer. <laughs> how gonna killer look cool does that look the fat bike's kind of all about riding with a smile on your face and that that's gonna be funny how cool does that look oh that's perfect we'll put a little spacer underneath there that'd be mm -hmm. perfect all right so we got the uh, star nut set Got the forks lined. I'm not going to tighten them up yet. We don't want to tighten them up yet until we feel completely confident with the uh, the height on there. You enjoying your cheese? I am. Yeah. We're uh, we're going to. <laughs> You're distracting. You're making me. I angry. am. We'll tighten this up whenever we get the stem and the bars and everything on there, and then uh, we're going to reroute everything. And then we're going to start talking about these hand guards. Okay. Now we got that on there. Let's go ahead and reroute the shifters and the brake. Shifter, remember this bike is a one by the brake, and then we're going to break into some hand guards. All right, the time has come. Geo hand guards, what you got for us? Let's break into them. Oh, it's official. I want to say thank you to uh, Geo hand guards for sending us some hand guards. Let's see if this is uh, something that this bike needs. All right, so let's check them out. We have got some handguard installation instructions, which is always good uh, for people like you because um, I don't read them. One thing I'm noticing right away, the uh, amount of stickers. I'm loving that. Oh, those look pretty sweet. Check out the stickers. Whatever, stickers are good. Yeah, I love stickers. Whatever color your bike, they, uh, they got it. Now, these are the uh, Geo Max handguards, what these are. So, what's the difference? The difference is these are the uh, regular Geo handguards, okay. right? This is like their original design. Didn't have the holes in there. Uh, I guess it was a similar mounting hardware. One goes to the edge of your bar and the, one goes to the inside. Do you know this or are you just guessing this? Oh, I know it. I know it like the back of my hand, people. Anyway, so this was their first design, right? This protects your hands. You run into trees, anything like that. But Or wreck. Or if you wreck, it would help protect your uh, not only your hands, but probably your brake lever, your dropper post lever, especially the one like mine. We're going to find out. Hurt. Yeah, not going to hurt you. I mean, who knows? You might be a physician, and you might need your hands protected. That was the original design, and now what they have added is... You breaking into your ice chest again? Just don't worry about what I'm doing over here. So what they have added now is their basher guard, the Geo basher guard. And this bike being the basher bike, maybe they knew something that we all didn't. So we have the uh, end caps here, which are Geo branded. That's pretty cool. Oh, quality. Check that out. Aluminum inserts. I guess this is the inside one, uh, Geo Handguards LLC, that keeps the inside Limited there liability company is that what that is yeah a corporation or i never so llc stood for so let's go ahead and put them on the basher bike
Okay, so I got the basher guards on the hand guards. Kind of a chore. They do say that you can dip them in hot water and they'll become more pliable. But I want to do things the hard way. And uh, I used the mounting hardware that it came with. Right? And slapped them up on there. The only thing was I had to make sure I had to do a double take on the diagram to make sure that I was mounting them correctly. And I don't think you did. I don't think I did either. <laughs> Okay, so I've already got the shaft collar on here, if you can see that. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert the hand guard. We'll install the brake lever. Now is the grip. Remember, I had to cut the end of that grip out because, and it says on the instructions, it says open-ended grips required. Now I do have some open-ended grips, but remember, I want to keep this a twist shifter bike. So I met the requirements. I just went ahead and cut that sucker off. Kind of a tight fit in there. Oh, it goes a certain way. Yeah. I was trying to force stuff in. You do. You're known for it. <laughs> All right. Can we see that? So it does have a little guide before we show you how that looks on there. It does show you a little guide. 200 millimeters is what it wants. Now it says you can go ahead and set it your own preference, but we're going to check it. And that's right at 200 millimeters. It kind of bends right to that amount. So I'm just going to keep it right there for what they recommend. We'll go from there. That's pretty sweet looking, huh? I do like it. It matches this bike well. Yeah, it really does. Geo handguards are installed and on there. Okay, I'm going to sit on it, get my hands on there, see what it feels like. It feels so good to look, just look down at the bike. Yeah. You know? Everything's real beefy. Mm -hmm. And it just looks overbuilt and ready to go through some woods. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I think um, I think it looks mean. It looks like a lot of a lot of bike coming It looks like you. a lot of bike. I think the bike's missing something. There's something about it that's missing. You think it's missing? It's missing. Yeah, oh, those forks are awfully yeah. uh, awfully blank. I'm glad you saw I almost forgot. This is one of our subscribers. His name is Brandon Waller at Mocha Bear 459. So I guess <laughs> this has got skin tone like mine His or something. Instagram. Yeah, people have called me Mocha Bear before too, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Brandon <laughs> Waller at Mocha Bear 459. Here's his uh, letter. Love the videos, guys. I was nervous about buying the Lutu fork, but your video gave came at the perfect time. I hope this sticker set makes you laugh as much as it has for me. I made these because I couldn't find one I liked. Enjoy. Brandon Waller at Mocha Bear 459. Now, you guys ready for these stickers? That's what the forks are missing. These are amazing. You were disappointed when your uh, your faux fox stickers didn't come in. I know. I really wanted some faux fox stickers, and these are legit faux fox yeah. stickers. I mean, it's got the fox tail everything, the 32 on there. They're faux stickers. <laughs> They're faux forks. That's going to be great. Let's slap these on there. And then uh, we'll show you guys a little bit, and then we'll do our little ender, you know? Alrighty. Well, guys, that was the Mongoose Malice Stage 1 Budget Are we up. doing Stage 1 on that? Is that Stage 1? Is yeah, that we'll call Stage it. 2? Oh, there's even a Stage 2. Mm -hmm. Anyway, well, that was the uh, Stage 1 upgrades. So you guys can go down to the description below, and you can see these parts that we put on the Malice tonight, and uh, some affiliate links, and also you can see a Geo Handguards link down there and you can click on that go to the store if you want to purchase yourself a set of these hand guards or some just like it um go into the cart and on the coupon is it a coupon selection i think it's a discount code discount code that's what i was looking for mm. select whichever ones you want discount code use wolf tick 2020 you get five bucks off of these hand guards geo hand guards uh geo guys geo guys geo guys geo guys Geo hand guards, guys. We appreciate you uh, sending us some hand guards to try out, and uh, we will definitely be doing an update on them as well as all, all of our other upgrades that we've done on the Malice so We're far. We're gonna take it out and test it. We're gonna bash it. You know, it's gonna be a good one. That and uh, Brandon Waller, thank you so much for the uh, faux Fox 32 stickers. Yeah, yeah, really brought this whole bike together. GFK. Yeah, GFK. But guys, uh, Tuesday we'll be doing a Taft video. The forks are sitting over there. They are in. Haven't seen them yet either. Yeah, well, we're not going to see them until Tuesday. I know. But, well, we're doing guys, Mail Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to do a Mail Time segment Tuesday and the TAF 
Project Humpty Dumpty video Tuesday as well. Got some new forks in. It's going to be a blast. So mm -hmm. make sure you guys don't miss it. Turn the notifications on. Subscribe. Also in the description below, you can buy us a cup of coffee. And in the month of October, it's going to be a beer. You're going to buy us a beer Hopefully. in the month of October. I buy so. him a beer. But, yeah. but uh, we appreciate you watching as always, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tell your friends.